What is up, guys? This is the fifth blog of the the fifth episode of my blog. I think I hope you're doing well. It's it's even now 10:40, so I'm probably gonna see you very soon. And I just wanted to talk to you about you know today and probably maybe also the entire week. So I set the goal of 400 I've reached I've reached it this week, which Thinking and looking back at it, I think it might have been very, like, really, really unrealistic just because of how much has been going on in my school right now. I'm doing a lot of that stuff. And, you know, it didn't help either that I haven't really been able to do outreach on intro game for the last three, three days because I've been, been uh, restricted. But, you know, other than that, I think it's been a pretty good week. So I got to talk to some doctors, got a lot of valuable information that will help me with, you know, future signing. And also, some of the guys, I think, might still be signable, even though they initially said no. I just need to find a way. It really seems like, you know, all of these people are very interested in the offer. I think it's something they would love. The problem is just it just seems so, so impossible, I guess, that they don't really trust that. It is actually something that you know would be be possible, and because of that, they don't they aren't like because it just seems so impossible. They they're very like worried about it not being not working, which I I totally get by the way. You know I felt that way too at the beginning, but yeah. So that's really the the big thing I'm I'm struggling with right now. I'm thinking that will probably be a solution, something like maybe making a legal contract or something like that. So that's like pretty much the week so far. And, you know, I'm thinking I will definitely send my first client next week, which which will be extremely nice. I mean, I also did pivot into doing some LinkedIn outreach, which I think will work very, very well, actually. So that's just another little thing. Now that I haven't been able to do outreach on Instagram, and I will definitely be looking more into how to make the best of that. I feel like it definitely is a very good method of outreach for me, especially in like this niche. Of, there's a lot of search engines on like pretty much all social medias, just because they that's really their way of getting out to people and people being able to to know them and see that, especially because this in that niche, you know, for plastic search, plastic search and one of the most important things is really, you know, trust and credibility. Because when you know it's a very very big thing to to get a plastic surgery, so you really want the the guy that's doing it. You know you, you want to know you can trust him, and that you know he is yeah I guess trustable, right? So that's that's a lot of ways to to contact these on social media, and I'm thinking I have a list of like 600 right now on LinkedIn, which I think will probably yield some very good results. I'm already talking to one guy after and like. 12 so far yeah so you know just keep going really that's like my advice no matter what it is just don't quit i really want to quit so many times but like now after i i like i always signed one of the guys and after i did that you know the adrenaline the way just felt you know talking to him being like being so close to selling him you know i just don't think i, I can stop now i just have to to get that again right you know, it almost becomes addicting, which I think is when you do something and you, you know, you get far enough, you will really feel like, holy shit, this was like so nice. I want to do this again. Yeah. Also, really looking forward to reading that book up there, which I got a few days ago from the US. It bought it a month ago at, after, you know, I attended his, um, his event where he launched the book. And I think, it will be very, very valuable. Might be sharing some insights from that one. You know, right now I, I, I have been reading Expert Secrets by Russell Brunson, which also an extremely good book. You know, he's the guy that got me to start doing this. I also learned in the book today something that I definitely will be applying, which is, you know, that you want to package things as a new thing and as an improvement offer. Because, you know, people don't, in order to improve, to improve something, they would have to have done something wrong. And people don't want to admit that they've done something wrong, right? Which is 
a, a big thing, I think, for like that. So I'm really looking forward to, to reading that book or rather to pushing that book and getting it done and then start reading that book up there. Yeah. Um, I did also read the matrix, the matrix, this, the matrix this weekend, which just seems a bit off topic. But I gotta say, there was some like really heavy hitters in the book. We like, then there was a, a time when he says, You've already been down that highway. And like, and, you know, I just know what he means when, you know, you're, you know, you don't wanna go back, right? I'm, I can't turn back now. I feel like there was like the red and the blue pill thing. Everyone has about that, have heard about that. Like, to be honest, I think everyone has watched The Matrix, right? And you know, you, you know, the, I feel like I'm on the, the red pill right now. And, just seeing how how did this rabbit hole goes, never going back to the blue pills, right? Yeah. So I just think you got to take the red pill, really. <laughs> Which sounds so stupid, but like it also, like it's very cool. Yeah. And you know, been working out obviously, right? Which been doing yoga every day, which probably I highly, highly recommend. You know, it's so good for you. It feels so good. You feel like you're getting, feel like I'm getting very strong and you know very healthy. So I really recommend doing that every single day. I can, I've been doing like ten minutes a day. I have like some videos which if you want to, I can share them. Share them. I think they're like very very good. And yeah, I'm not. I definitely won't be getting the the four hundred gold for tomorrow, right? But like. I still think it's not bad. I just don't think it was realistic, really, which, you know, really bumped me out. It really made me not do very much outreach just because, you know, I felt like I couldn't get the goal anyway. So, why I even try for it, right? And also, by the way, that's a very good lesson. Rather than, you know, set a, a small goal, I think, I don't think you should set too big if you do that. It just seems unrealistic. And if it seems unrealistic, you know, you can, like, just give up before even trying really so yeah be careful with that guys um so i'm just thinking if there are like anything else i want to share i mean maybe i've been doing this this course for like learning how to do no code stuff which sounds very cool and you know ai in space in general is like really really cool i think I can do a lot of stuff definitely looking forward to doing an SAAS, which is basically a software as service, or like creating a software and selling that at some point. So, you know, pretty much it for today, for tonight. Not much more here. Hope you're having a great day or a great night or whatever the time is for you. And I'll talk to you tomorrow about some hopefully more insightful things. I don't know if I'm actually like really giving any insights here. At some point I do also want to restructure this blog so it's more like more like present a tip you, you have a tip here and then how i learned it or earned it and then how you can apply it and how it works basically which is also something russell brunson talks about in expert secrets which is you know not those two it's the third one and you know, it just sounds very smart. It just sounds like it would be a lot more helpful. But like for now, I'm just doing this stuff because I don't feel like I have that much to share right now. So yeah, that's pretty much it for for tonight. I hope you have a great day, and you know, let me know if you actually could understand what I said or if I am still talking too unclear. Because that's really something I am trying to work on, and I would love some feedback on that. Yeah, that's it for now. Have a great night or whatever. I just want to do the, the hand thing. I think it's really cool.